one fluid, two states, an introduction to non-Newtonian fluids. Ever wonder what it's like to walk on a liquid? What? That's so cool. No way. Yep, it's possible. Or ever wondered why you have to shake a ketchup bottle? Tell me more. Let's dive deeper. These phenomenons are a part of biofluid mechanics, which are common in everyday life. First, let's define what a non-Newtonian fluid is. Yeah. So a non-Newtonian fluid does not follow Newton's law of viscosity, which says that the constant viscosity Say is independent what? of stress. Instead, the viscosity of these fluids change when under the force to either more liquid or more solid. These non-Newtonian fluids can be broken down into two categories, shear thinning and shear thickening. First, shear thinning, also known as pseudoplastic flow, is the non-Newtonian behavior of fluids whose viscosity decreases under shear rate. Some fluids also appear to have a yield stress, where below some critical stress, the viscosity becomes infinite. In this case, the fluid would take on the characteristic of a solid. Examples of shear thinning fluids can be seen in a variety of industrial processes, such as shaving cream and ketchup. Let's get into it. For the first example, we'll be looking at shaving cream. When shaving cream comes out of the can, it appears to be a soft solid. But, when you rub it between your fingers, it thins into a liquid. In the second example, we'll be looking at ketchup. Before shaking the bottle, the fluid acts like a solid and doesn't really budge from the bottom of the bottle. However, after shaking, the fluid is now less viscous and easier to squeeze out. A shear thickening fluid, also known as a dilatant fluid, acts like a solid when it experiences a force. Their viscosity is dependent on the shear stress or the strain rate. As shear rate increases, the viscosity also increases. Some theories speculate that when these liquids are hit by a force, their structures shift into a crystalline shape which is extremely hard. Examples of shear thickening fluids include a mixture of cornstarch and water and quicksand. Let's dive right in! First, we'll be looking at a mixture of cornstarch and water. At first glance, this fluid seems like a liquid, but after applying a stress, it hardens and the viscosity increases. When the stress is removed, the fluid returns back to its liquid-like property. For the second example, quicksand becomes increasingly resistant with increasing strain rates. So that's why when you step on it initially, its liquid-like state engulfs you and then becomes more solid as you resist. We hope you learned a lot in this video. Thanks for watching!